So recently, Jeffrey Lurie had a press conference, and I want to talk about a few things he said. The first thing, he talked about bringing back the Kelly Green. He wants to bring back the Kelly Green. Beautiful, beautiful, me too. But I don't even want to bring it back as an alternate. I don't want to see it once a year or twice a year. I want him to make a new jersey. I want them to create a refreshing jersey, something new, incorporate both colors, and bring it back that way. So that it's it's there all the time. Kelly Green is the Eagles. Now, the second thing he talked about was the approach in the draft. He talked a lot about taking the best player available because you don't know what your needs are going to be down the road. So you got to go with the best player available. And he said that he didn't want to draft a player or players that would artificially blow up their record for one year and then have it turn back against them in future years because they were focused on 2017. I love that. That's, that's a beautiful thing. That's my chief complaint. And I would say to Jeffrey Lurie, take that approach that you have in the draft and also have that same approach with free agency. With all these one-year deals right now, me, you know, in my opinion, that's the approach that they were taking in free agency, only 2017. And why I say that? Because they all have one-year deals. Now, I had a lot of friends text me, a lot of people call me, People who knew me before the channel was even ever up. And they said, man, you this time you're too hard on the Eagles. You're holding their pass way too much. I mean, we got a new quarterback. You, you got to give them something. And to them, I want to say this. I stand by my grave. I stand by what I say because I believe it's the truth. Now, if the Eagles want to prove me wrong, then go out there and prove me wrong. And if you sign... Uh, Alshon to three, four years deal after this year and he puts up Pro Bowl numbers for the next three years, then I'll say I was wrong. I have no problem. If you have watched my channel, you know I have no problem saying I'm sorry if I make a mistake. But I believe I'm right on this. So I'm going to stand by my, what I said yesterday in my midterm grade video. Doesn't mean I want... I, I'm right, it's just my opinion. It's not fact, it's my opinion. So I stand by it. I love you guys out there. You know who you are, but I stand by it. Now, late, late last week, there was, a, there was a rumor about the Eagles trying to trade up for Fournette. Now, I didn't really think much about it. You know, I didn't think it would, was very likely. But the more I think about it, the more I think that there may be a chance this happens. If you look at Joe Douglas and you look at where he came from in Baltimore, you look at the type of running backs that they liked. Ray, um, they had uh, Jamal Lewis, and then they had uh, uh, Ray Rice. I mean, these guys were, were physical bruising backs that could do a lot, but they were big and physical. So Fournette would fit right in with those kind of guys. Now, I think Fournette is a special talent. I think he's going to be a, a different type of running back than people think. I think he can play in this league. I don't care what the system. If he doesn't, if he's not great out of the backfield catching, I don't think it matters. I think it's only because he hasn't had to do it enough. I think he's a special talent. So if the Eagles trade up for Fournette, I would love it. Obviously, I would love it. Um, but I do think it might happen. I'm not saying that. Well, let me. I don't know if they'll do it or not. But I think that they might, and there's some reasons why. One is you got this, this guy, Douglas. If he really has a, a, a say in this draft, I think that he would look at a guy like Fournette. Now, he may, not, he may determine it doesn't fit their system, but like I said, I think Fournette can fit in any system. I think it's just a matter of putting him in. Um, secondly, the draft's in Philly. The draft's in Philly. And the Eagles... They are going to want to make an impact on this draft. It's at home, in front of their crowd. Um, some people even speculated that they took the Bradford trade last year because, in part, they wanted a first-round pick at the draft in Philly. I, I don't know how much that is true, but I think they want to make an impact on this draft. 
So I don't think the Eagles are going to stay put when it's all said and done at 14. They'll either trade back or they're going to trade up. And I do think they're going to trade up. If I had to guess, if I had to put money on it, I would take I would take the odds that they try to trade up. Will it happen? I don't know. But I do know this. The Eagles want to make an impact at this draft. They do want to be talked about at this draft. And they do want their fans to be happy at this draft. So I think we're in store for some fun stuff, some exciting moves, and it should be very interesting. Take care. I'll talk to you later.